His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation for the cable of congratulations he received from the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on Bahrain winning one gold and one silver medal at the Rio Olympic Games. His Majesty the King praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which had culminated in such an achievement for the Kingdom at the prestigious international sporting event. His Majesty commended His Highness Sheikh Khalid's excellent administration and follow-up. His Majesty the King also thanked the Bahraini athlete Ruth Jebet for winning the gold medal, medal Yunus Kiwa for winning the silver, and also Ali Khamis for reaching the final of the men's 400 metres. His Majesty congratulated all the Bahrain sports figures participating in the Rio Olympic Games. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudubia Palace members of the royal family, state officials, business people and journalists. He commended the strength of the Bahraini community thanks to its national unity and cohesion, which enables it to deal with challenges under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He reviewed with the audience national issues and called for further national, Gulf and Arab unity in order to protect the region from division. The Prime Minister said that one of the primary challenges facing the region is widespread terrorism across the Arab region and the world, which requires greater efforts to combat and eliminate it. He added that terrorism draws extremists to create chaos and destabilise security in the service of foreign agendas. He said national unity must be reinforced to bolster social cohesion in light of the threats targeting the kingdom aimed at inciting sedition among the people. His Royal Highness stressed that the Bahraini people were aware of such attempts and wouldn't tolerate them. He affirmed that the kingdom would remain an oasis of peace and a protective shield for the region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Saman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his congratulations cable regarding Bahrain's success at the Rio Olympics, where Bahrain won a gold and a silver medal. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince commended Sheikh Khalid's continued efforts that helped to raise Bahrain's name at such a major event. He also thanked Bahraini athletes Ruth Jebet, who won gold in the women's 3,000-metre steeplechase, Yunus Kiwa, who took silver in the women's marathon, and Ali Khamis, who qualified for the men's 400-metre final. His Royal Highness also congratulated all Bahraini participants in the Olympics for the success they have achieved and for the competitive spirit they have displayed. Hello, a very good evening and welcome to the Business News here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI's Acting CEO, Engineer Nabil Abdurrahman Al Mahmoud, and First Vice Chairman Khaled Al Zayani, alongside the Chamber's board members, today received the Pakistani Ambassador to Bahrain, Javid Malik. They held a meeting to review the deep rooted relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan and the prospect of taking business ties to further heights. Aziani highlighted the business and investment environment in Bahrain and the interest in enhancing trade and partnership with Pakistan, particularly in light of the numerous opportunities and the keenness of the wise leadership of both countries. He also mentioned the successful Bahraini Sudanese agriculture project, Herat al Bahrain, wherein Sudan granted Bahrain 42,000 hectares of land to invest in farming and animal husbandry projects and deliberated about the prospect of replicating the experience in Pakistan. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,151.97 points. That's a decrease of 7.37 points below yesterday's closing level. There was less trading in the investment and commercial banking sectors, although the latter still represented the majority, 62% of total share value traded. And in grand total today, there were 45 transactions comprising 2,332,369 shares worth 282,958 Bahraini dinars.
Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Al Shahura Youth Center sealed an easy victory over Al Hamala in the first group second round matches of the fourth Khalid bin Hamad Fustal League for youth centers and the first league for people with disabilities. Ahmed Mohammed Al Sufi scored two goals for Al Shahura, while Hani Hassan and Ahmed Ibrahim netted one each. In the second match of the same group, Bugua Youth Center defeated Al Qarya 5 0.